Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. Hey everyone, it's Diecast here from Radio Free Cybertron. Just here with a little uh, hint or tips guide to building your Warbitron, not Shockwave. Uh, here we have the instructions, how they come. They don't really give you uh, any indication of where the screws gr uh, where the screws grow, where the screws go, but uh, it is a it is a pretty standard uh, guide to building the figure. Um, there are three sets of screw baggies that come in with your Warbitron figure. Uh, these two have a lot less screws in them. I haven't used them yet. When you start to build this guy, you're going to be using the big bag of screws. I'm not sure if they're extra screws or what they are, but you're going to use this big bag of screws. And there's two types of screws in here. The instructions don't really tell you uh, when to put in a screw or what size screw. Let me see if I can pull two of these out. So we basically have this little tiny screw and this longer skinnier screw. I have used the longer skinnier screw the whole time. I haven't used these little tiny skinny uh, or little tiny fatter screws yet. If that, uh, hopefully that helps you when you guys are going to build this figure. Um, it's pretty easy to figure out when it's time to put a screw in basically when you connect something um, together, <laughs> uh, and you have two pieces, it's okay to screw it in. You don't have to wait till the end because the instructions never tell you. Another thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is that on Shockwave's arms, uh, there are two screws, one right there and one up top there that connect to the ball joint of his arm. I recommend not tightening those screws all the way till you get that ball till you put that all in the ball joint and then tighten the screws that way you don't have to pop it onto the ball joint because it is a really tight fit. You can see Shockwave's arm, I'm kind of tapping it and it it it's got a good amount of force, the the right amount of force that it needs to so nothing's floppy, nothing's loose. Uh, I'm really impressed. I don't know if I can say with the build quality because I'm the one building it, but with the design um, and the tolerances so far, they're very good. Um, that being said, there is one other thing I wanted to point out to you guys, which is the hips. There's two pieces. There's a little square top of his thigh and then the peg to go in to um, give him the upper thigh swivel. And the problem is, and it's going to be very hard to show on, on the video, inside this piece right here, there is, inside this piece right here, up top here, there is uh, a little ridge that kind of comes down so the opening's not as big on the side all the way through. So what I found is I used one of these file kits and I open this up and I'll put a link for this in the description below. That way if you want to pick up a file kit, I just picked this up uh, on Amazon specifically for this figure. Um, but it comes with a bunch of different files, and the reason I got this one is you never know when you're going to need one of these down the line. So I think it makes sense. Just to, I, this cost me $12.99 on Amazon with free, you know, Prime shipping. So I just went ahead and went for it. And then you just take the file, and you're going to file inside of the legs till you can make the opening the same size all the way through which I've already done on this one and if you do it right you get that plastic squeak uh, that Warbitron kind of 
known for like on fierce attack in his shoulders but it's not popping out at all it's not it when i turn it it's not coming out so that is definitely the right way to do it i also did file the mushroom cap just a little bit but not from the top from the bottom here i just went around and filed that down uh, to kind of give it that little extra help going into that port and you do want to be careful because you don't want to damage the center part of this mushroom cap you just want to file down the end that way you'll prevent breakage down the line luckily uh upper upper thigh rotation is not something i use that much so once i get this figure together um, I think I'll be golden. So, like I said, you just file that down. That's the good one. And go inside on the inside of there. File that down as much as possible. The other reason it's good to get a file set like this is you never know what size file you're going to need. And these have a couple different shapes on them. So you can pretty much get in anywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and file this down and then we'll uh, start the video again and we'll put put it all together all right we're back again I did a little bit more filing so now I'm just gonna try and slide that in again and that time it went in perfectly now I'm just gonna connect it to shockwave and there you go. And as you can see, when I rotate mine, they're not popping off at all. They're not coming out. It is a tight rotation, but I don't feel like it's going to break. So I hope this video, uh, I hope this video helped you guys. That's actually going to help you build your shockwave properly because I believe that was the biggest problem so far. And I must say, I'm really liking this guy. He's definitely bigger than I thought he was going to be. Again, check in the link in the description below for the, for the file kit, which I'll put a link down there. And just remember when you're building him, use those long screws wherever possible. Like I said, those short, fat ones I haven't, I haven't uh, needed to use yet. I'm not sure if they're for the weapons because the weapons are kind of the second part of the build. You get the gun and then you have the weapons. But it doesn't look like you have to build too much with them. It's probably mostly just uh, breaking them off the sprues and uh, breaking them off the sprues and building them. Just a quick update on the WB01.F set. I finished building it and I just I don't know where this is going to go in the video so it may be in the middle maybe in the beginning maybe in the end um, but a couple things that I noticed while I was building the gun set and you can see it's a very nice gun I'm really impressed uh, with how the parts come together to form the gun and the swords and knives are extra sharp so definitely use some caution um, the only other place to install screws are in these sheaths for the swords sheaths um, these are the same screws those long skinny screws that were used in um, the not shockwave whatever you want to call him so there's three in each of these and then as far as those small fatter screws the only place they are used are in this gun right here to attach that and there are about one two three four five screws in this gun and those again are the short fat screws so long skinny screws for him and the two sword sheaths and then the little short fat screws are for this one. And then 
the empty baggie of screws. There was just enough screws for everything. These extra two baggies that you get are just extra screws. So I hope that helps. And uh, remember to watch the review of this guy because uh, that should be posting soon also. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Everything you can do, uh, we'd really appreciate it.